What up, guys, and Hello. welcome to Holly Scoop's trending topics, where we talk about everything from food to fashion to beauty. So today we're talking about the clip-in man bun, uh, the no bra seventy kind of freeing the nipples movement that's Free happening the right now. Yes, and bowls. Bowls on bowls on bowls. It has to do with food. We'll tell you more in a sec. So Holly Scoop's trending topics, we're about to discuss this. Yes. I'm Stephanie Gray. I'm Madison Conklin. And we're jumping in on clipping man, man buns. buns. Which to me, I thought man buns were like a thing of 2015. Right. And I totally could not get with that trend. Like really? guys could rock it, I did not find it attractive. When a guy has more hair than me, I'm just like, mm, <laughs> yeah, no, sorry. Like I, you're very nice, very attractive. Cut your hair. Yeah, we're talking. I get, I get what you mean because it's like feminine. <laughs> yeah, so you might not and, well, be attracted it's not, yeah, to it's that. Like, I just think like you know, and we're competitive with like our amount of hair. Well, that <laughs> and like hygiene. Like, are they oh, like are they yes. using shampoo, conditioner? Are they brushing it? Yes. Like, Good point. Mm -hmm. I was good with man buns if you can do it with your own hair. Because if you have a man bun made with your own hair, chances are you have a lot of hair on top and around too. And you're so not going bald look, anytime soon. Yeah, and it doesn't look weird to just have a random bit of hair here yeah. and not on the rest of your head. Exactly. But if it's a clip-in man bun, that oh. means you could literally have like thin, thin, thin hair and then just like a bush in the back. And I yeah. feel like that's weird. And they they do. They look so weird. We have some pictures for you guys. You can get them on Amazon and Groupon. I guess, let's just compare them. It's like extensions for a woman, you know? Right. Or like, um, you know how those things in the 90s, which are probably gonna come back, they were like the fake hair you'd put in your ponytail. Sure, To make it sure. like a messy bun. Yes. This is exactly what it is. So to me, I'm just like, wow, guys are, Actually, that desperate like for desperate hair. for hair, yeah, and they, I mean, they range from like 15 bucks to 20 bucks. Which is so much You can cheaper. get them in all different colors, well, like blonde, black, brown, but then it's like, okay. what if you got like, you know, dirty a dirty blonde, blonde. yeah, like That's you're just gonna have like a white blonde bun on top of your head. By the way, sexist, because our hair extensions are yes. like in the 200s, hundreds, oh, at least in the 60s, You can get them range. threaded in, you get them clipped in, yeah. you can get them glued in, like yeah. these guys just like clip it in and boom, boom, I got a bun. Unfair. And I highly suggest men. Right. If you're thinking of doing this trend, make sure you have enough hair on the top of your head that head. it looks like you could potentially even have. It looks natural. A man bun. And well, you know, a ton of guy celebrities, Leo DiCaprio, Jared Leto, mm -hmm. um, David Beckham, they right. all have rocked the man bun, but that years ago. Do you mind it on them? You still don't like it on them? Well, Leo had like a very tiny one. Like you said, if they didn't have like enough a hair, like he had a little nub, yeah, a nubbin. <laughs> um, David Beckham, yes, he could pull off. Jared Leto, I really liked, but then Jared Leto like had hair. So much down. freaking hair. It's so much hair and it was all like the beard too. So it was kind of like, whoa, I'm gonna get lost in your hair, you right. know? But I mean, right. if, you, if you can pull it off, pull it off. And if anyone has tried a clip and man bun, Comment down below and tell us about your experience because I want, I need to know. I don't want, I need to know how, how people reacted. Yeah. yeah, okay. All right, moving on to the no bra free the nipple trend. Can I just preface this by saying, I do feel like the big boob implant trend is now a thing of the past. Oh, we 100%. went through that stage. Uh -huh, yeah, you know, Fake everyone boobs. was getting during the Pamela Anderson. You guys might not know who that is, but Pamela Anderson right. time. Everyone was getting boob implants, and mm -hmm. now it's all about no bra, no bra, free the nipple, no let the girls out, let the girls out, let them breathe. Yeah. We're not wearing bras right now. Kidding. Ah, totally yeah, yeah, kidding. you uh, you Mine's wouldn't want to see that. <laughs> Kendall, Gigi, Bella Hadid, Selena, Bella Thorne, they all have been like crazy on Instagram mm -hmm. and social media, and even just like getting paparazzi photos taken of them, where, by the way, I asked this the other week and no one said anything in the office, and I felt really embarrassed, but, how in every picture where they're not wearing a bra are their nipples hard? I'm sorry, that doesn't happen. That's, they're not they're always outside. like ding, 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 ding. Like they're not <laughs> always like that. So if I were to try this trend, yeah. they would just be like, Meow. Yeah. Like, Meow. I don't have very pointy nips as it is. Like even when I'm cold, my nip that just doesn't extend that much from my actual boob. Anyway. So are, you're not in support of this trend? I'm okay with it. My favorite version that I saw was Selena Gomez and how she did it because she almost made it look like an accident. Uh -huh. So she was wearing black, uh -huh. the paps got her and she wasn't wearing a bra. So when that flash hit, it hits, went through you, the fabric. And it's like, oh, whoopsie daisy, my nips are there, but I'm right on trend. Yeah. You know what I mean? Now I couldn't be like Bella or Kendall um, where they wear like the sheer top. Yeah, out. like the dress is a nipple dress. Exactly. I could never ever do that. Cause I then like, either. you know, they covered up with like pizza emojis. Mm -hmm. I would think that like, my 
your my head. Would psych myself. Oh, I got pizza emojis just like there, you know. But no, like boobs are out. Yeah. I'm just like, I wouldn't say I'm conservative when it comes to like my ways of thinking, but when it comes to like. You know, showing Private up my parts. body. I'm yeah. like, oh no, keep I them do, covered. Keep them covered. I like the comfortable aspect of it. Of it, it is more comfortable not to wear a bra, although. But yes, although. Go, okay, go. Tell me if this has happened to you. If I don't wear a bra too often, especially with like real clothes, my nips they start to get raw, like they rub off. So this nipple trend can only go so far for me yeah. because I need a bra eventually. Otherwise, I have crusty nips. You know. <laughs> Welcome to the crusty nips. Does um, that happen to you? No, but I know marathon runner, uh, male marathon runners can have that happen. Yeah. Because they're not used to fabric, like rubbing yeah. off constantly. So, yeah. But I'm always wearing a bra. So proceed with caution, people. <laughs> yeah, proceed with caution. So anyway. uh, no nipple trend for me, but what I'm about to get on, because I have not gotten with this trend, is the bowl trend, where you eat food out of a bowl. <gasps> Shocking. Who knew we ate food out, out of a bowl? Of a bowl. <laughs> We're talking like burrito bowls from Chipotle, acai bowls, mm -hmm. poke bowls. Ramen bowls, yeah. which after pulling pictures for this, I'm I'm going to get a ramen bowl for lunch. They're really good. They I look. Was, I've never had them. It's like if you let it uh, not be hot anymore and cool down, oh. it's like all fat. You know, you can like see it, oh, but it's bro. really okay. Don't tell me delicious. that. Delicious. Okay, now I can't go get it. God. <laughs> but bowls are the thing of 2017, and I feel like it started with. Uh, yogurt land and like the toppings the and stuff. Fro yo, like Fro -yo, the frozen the, yogurt. In the bowl, yeah. And then someone's like, oh, let's make a healthier version. Acai. Yeah. And then someone's like, let's take it a step further and make a burrito into a bowl. Exactly. Which is what Chipotle take, did. Take away the carbs. You yes. Know? Take yeah. away the carbs. Literally and just like peeling back layers of like bad unhealthiness. Health, unhealthiness. Yeah. yeah. And then it went from that to like, well, geez, everyone likes to personalize their stuff anyway, right? Yeah. So at every restaurant now, every like takeout restaurant, it seems like it's Subway style mm -hmm. where you just pick your ingredients. You put it in a bowl mm -hmm. and done. And people like this. Yeah. And it's very photogenic. Well, and it's funny because, like you said, it did kind of start with the whole like frozen yogurt, add your own toppings, then it was boba tea for a hot mm -hmm. minute because that was like a healthier, you know, version of a milkshake and all right. that. And now it's these bowls. So they're saying it's easier and faster to assemble the bowls right. than a, like a plated up entree. And the psychological health benefits of holding a bowl. This is can, BS, but say it anyway. I know, right? Because well, I'm like, <laughs> like, I go to town on the bowl. Um, no, they're saying like if you eat out a bowl, out of a bowl, you could be more mindful of how much you're eating, and you you can realize when you're fuller faster. But okay, can I just explain Please. how that logic doesn't make sense? Yeah, get a bowl because it's delicious, but not to feel fuller faster. Because if I'm having a bowl. That means I don't even see what's under there, so I don't know how much I'm eating. If it's on a plate and I see it all spread out, I'm like, whoa, that's a lot of food. So I would eat more if it's uh -huh. a bowl, because half my food's hidden. True. But to counteract that one, yes. on a plate, if it's not completely full, then I'm like, well, I'm not eating enough. I need to add more <laughs> food. Like, if I can see the bottom of the plate, not okay not with okay. me. Even though the serving portions that I get are probably what I need to be eating, but I'm like, no, there's more plate, there's glass under there, I can't, you know. We need to work on our portion control. Seriously. So there's that. So we've, uh, we've realized we need to work on portion control, yeah. not show our nipples, Yeah. and man buns. Do yeah. we like it or love it? Do you guys like it or love it? Uh, what trending topics have you seen that you're like, I wanna hear more about this? Let us know in the comments below because we'll tackle those issues. <laughs> what bowls have you eaten? What bowls have you of eaten? late? Huh? Yeah. Because we wanna try them. Yeah. Bring them on over to Holly Scoop. Yeah. Like right now, especially ramen though. Ramen. So yeah. <laughs> All right, we'll see you next time on Trending Topics. Woo. Later guys. Bye.